And so here's the first leg of the trifecta of hope. He said, and even if you don't get unmessed up, even if you don't become a doctor, even if you don't do anything with the rest of your life, I'd be proud to know you. So it's kind of like an unconditional valuing or love for me without having to perform. Mm. And at that point, my tears just started flowing. I, I mean, he was hitting me with this compassion. You know, what's he talking about? So that was the first leg, sort of an unconditional love. And then he said, uh, uh, and, and he said, I'd be proud to know you because you have something uh, that we don't grade in medical school. Maybe we should, but we don't. And, uh, and it's something that the world needs and you won't know how much it needs it until you're 35. So he saw a future for me that I didn't see. What? The, the world's going to need something from me at 35? What are you talking about? And I'm crying even more. Uh, and then he says, uh, uh, look at me. And by this time, I'm just sobbing. And, and he points his finger at me and he said, but you have to make it till you're 35. And you deserve to be on this planet. And the third leg is he said, and you're going to let me help you. Because if he had said, if I can help you, give me a call, I might have gone back to my apartment and I might not be here today. 